for those who would like to join us is that uh, I would like to call a 21-day fast, fasting and prayer, beginning tomorrow, which is Monday, October 3rd, and will end on Sunday, October 23rd. So it's 21 days, and I'll tell you why the 21 days. But first, let me tell you that at least at this particular point, your participation in it is entirely voluntary, um, but I would encourage you to participate. Secondly, I'm giving no specific instructions on the form of fasting. If you want to fast with water only, if you want to fast a noon meal every day, if you'd like to give up and fast some form of food during that time, like not eating meat or not eating sweets, uh, along with that, if you would like to fast other physical things, such as the news media or any of those kind of issues, you take it to the Lord and you ask the Holy Spirit what he wants you to do. But do give up something. When I say give up something, I'm talking about in the natural realm. Remember, uh, two weeks ago, I preached what I thought was an excellent sermon on dealing with things that the flesh can't handle. I was giving you some insights on how that when we come up against certain things, and by the way, we're only about four weeks away from the uh, November 8 midterm elections. And so I'm calling the warriors into a warrior fast, into a warrior time of prayer. In fact, the Lord spoke to me, and he said, turn loose the lion's army. Turn loose the lion's army. In fact, he spoke to CK. She gave it to me, and I said, oh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Turn loose the lion's army. We have some work ahead. You have been doing good. Well done, thou good and faithful servants. You have been praying. You've been praying the kingdom of God down. You have been con fronting in the spiritual realm that ruling political spirit of Jezebel and the spirit of Antichrist that has attempted to take over America you have also come against on the far right that ruling political spirit of Pharisee that has tried to control how that the church of the Lord Jesus Christ is to operate in our nation God wants control of the whole thing the Holy Spirit is the one who flows through and teaches and guides the church. It is not the mind and the control of man on the far right. It is not the pressure, the intimidation, and the deception of wicked spirits on the far left. It is the Holy Spirit, the spirit of holiness that is on the inside of us. And so 21 days of fasting in preparation Prayer also, take the time that you would have used in any of those things, such as watching the news media, if you give that up. A dinner time, if you choose to give that up and pray. Make sure that you give prayer because prayer is what overcomes. It's not doing without anything in the natural realm that makes you a faith giant or a warrior. Anybody can do that. Sinners can starve. But warriors pray. Warriors submit themselves to the things of God. And it's going to bring about great changes. You know, and uh, I, I mentioned this, I think it was when I was preaching on how to deal with things that the flesh can't handle a couple of weeks ago. That in Matthew 17, it's verses 14 through 31, where in Matthew's account of that situation, Jesus himself has been on the Mount of Transfiguration, having a glorious experience. I mean, he's transformed. And the, the brilliance of the phosphorus light of God that comes upon him. And those that were waiting, you know, they, they saw it. And they, but Jesus... While he's having that experience, the disciples, his other disciples down at the bottom of the mount are having a different experience. And it's one of flesh. It's one of failure. There's an epileptic boy who is brought by his father to them and asked them to, for them to cast 
that the spirit out to heal the child and they couldn't do it so when jesus finishes this glorious experience he comes down and he finds this situation and at that point he then because of that rebukes them for their unbelief it was unbelief and one of the things i was sharing with you is because they got into a place to where they were trying to handle it in their own flesh trying to handle it by natural means attempting to get something done by some form of formula or just hoping that things could be done so in other words their flesh got in the way and the reason that we know that is because Jesus rebuked them for their unbelief. He said it was a state of unbelief. So in other words, they weren't operating in the spirit. There are some things that you have to handle by your human spirit and the spirit of God on the inside of you because your flesh will buckle. Your flesh will yield way, will come up with some kind of an answer that makes absolutely no sense in the spirit of God. And it, it, it makes excuses. And so that was a situation that Jesus found when he came down. And so he cast the spirit out, healed the boy. But he made this statement in verse 21. I emphasize that because I'm calling for 21 days of fasting and prayer, a warrior's fast. In verse 21, he told them this kind goes not out but by prayer and fasting. And he wasn't saying that some natural thing that we do, such as doing without a meal, is what drives certain demons out, or the really tough ones. That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. And, you know, we have a tendency, the church does sometimes, to religiousize things and just figure that, well, okay, that's what he's talking about. If I do without my Big Mac for lunch, uh, then maybe that demon will leave. What? demon doesn't care whether you have a Big Mac or not. Uh, that's not the point. Jesus was saying your flesh is the point. And the only reason or the only way that you can deal with this situation is overcoming the flesh. And overcoming the flesh at this point requires fasting and prayer. And that's not the only element. There's worship, there's getting in close to God, there's spending time with him. That's the thing he was saying. He said, build up the inner man and it'll take care of the outer man. Very simple. But in verse 21 again, he said, this kind goes not out but by prayer and fasting. So what I'm telling you is that as we approach the midterm election, that I felt that the Lord said, call for a 21-day fast and prayer a warrior's fast to turn loose the lion's army to pray not only for evangelism and all the great things uh, that the holy spirit wants to do through us and heaven wants to display through us and in our lives but also to purposely pray for the election results on november 8th 